What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm gonna be telling you about the battle against Molten and Aquatic. The battle between water and fire. In one corner we have Molten the imposter of lava. And in the other corner we have the water imposter also known as Aquatic. These two monsters went head to head for the second time. And you won't believe what happened next, so you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video, I want to ask you guys a question. Who do you think will win this fight? Molten or Aquatic? Make sure to let me know down below in the comments. And also make sure to leave any monster fight suggestions that you would like me to post next. And I will definitely be checking the comments. And if you want to be one of the first people to watch these monster fights, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. I'm trying to reach my goal of 2 million subscribers. And if you're new to the channel want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like down below. But now let's begin with today's story video. So do you ever just play Among Us and can't forget about one of your friends? That was the situation that I was currently facing. I managed to save Molten, but I couldn't save Aquatic. If only I would have stopped Sairi Sorrel, but he's way too powerful for just a regular crewmate like me. I was just walking around the lobby trying to think of a solution to save Aquatic, but it may be too late. Aquatic is most likely long gone and unable to escape Sairi Sorrel. Sairi Sorrel would be the last player that I would allow this much power. He was already powerful on his own, but now he has Aquatic on his side, and they were going after Molten. I was just casually playing this game of Among Us, and Cyan took out Purple, right next to Showers. And this has happened to me before when I summoned Aquatic. I let the crewmates know that it was Cyan, and that they took out Purple by Showers. When the lights turned off, I saw Cyan run away. But Cyan was denying it, just like any regular imposter. Even though I had so much evidence against him, it completely backfired because I was ejected. After some time of the crewmates just walking around and doing tasks, Black called a meeting and blamed Green, and they were ejected and they weren't the imposter either. What is up with this game? The imposters ended up winning, but I'm gonna leave this lobby to look for any clues about Molten and Aquatic. I'm gonna try to save them once more. I'm not giving up. I then joined another lobby and it seemed way too empty, but then I saw Killer hiding behind a box. What is he doing here? And why is he alone? I then went towards the right side of the dropship and I saw Eric, Lorca, and Sairi Sorrel. You know, I should have figured that something fishy was going on when I first saw Killer. But I'm not here for him. I'm here for Sairi Sorrel. He was the one that tried to capture my friend Molten, but then he went after Aquatic. Me and Aquatic don't get along, but as I mentioned earlier, I don't want Sairi Sorrel to get all this power. And I don't think the imposters want that either. Killer was then calling me the fake Chari in the chat, and I told him I'm real, but I'm not here for him. I told Sairi Sorrel, what did you do to Aquatic? And what are you gonna do to Molten? Sairi Sorrel then responded with a simple, oh, I trapped them. No, you trapped Aquatic. After I sent that message, Sairi Sorrel just didn't respond anymore. But I now had to deal with a bigger problem. In this lobby, there was three players walking around. Not just in the dropship, but out in space, on the walls, and on top of the dropship. It just amazes me how much Sairi Sora grew his army and we can't allow them to take over among us. Us crewmates need to work together to take them down. The imposters don't like Sairi Soro either. Killer ended up banning all three players that were causing problems in the lobby. But as the game was about to start, my game crashed. Looks like Sairi Soro doesn't want me to have any fun, but that's expected from him. I was now in a brand new lobby, and when I joined I was white, as well as the other crewmates. I tried to change my color and it didn't work. But then I realized something. There was a black crewmate, but his name was another color. His name was Generator and Original. What does that even mean? I then asked the player, how in the world is your name yellow? And he just responded with okay. So I told him again, hey black, how is your name yellow? And he responded with random, protect the Generator Original. Generator, if I'm dead, I'll leave, you can't move. What is he even talking about? But then all of a sudden, the player left. 
And my name was Blue, and everyone in the lobby was named Random Player. I could finally change my color, but none of this made any sense. I've never seen anything like this before. These lobbies are becoming even more strange. At this point, it doesn't even feel like I'm playing Among Us. There is no point in me staying in the lobby, so I left. The moment I joined another lobby, I was facing the same player. So I asked him, how are you doing this? You did it to my last lobby. The player said no and I said yes. Tell me. And he told me that he thinks I got the wrong player. But it's the same one. He then called himself a lucky player. Which I don't even know what that means. But I told him, you did it last time. What are you doing? He then changed our names back to random player and my name was now Blue. He was then sending the same message that he sent in the other lobby, but this time he sent it multiple times. I then told him stay in the lobby you always leave and he started the game. When I spawned in the lobby was darker than usual, which really scared me. All I could see is darkness. The lobby was also very laggy so it made it harder for me to walk. But then I made it over to the engine room, and my screen began to turn red, and I could see flowing lava. Could this be a sign of Molten? Is he alive? A body was then reported, and that was by the player with the yellow name. And I said, what is happening? I didn't know who to vote for since everybody had the same name and color, so I decided to skip. I spawned instead of the main hall, and I went over to showers. And a wave of water appeared on my screen. This is a sign of aquatic. They must be alive and asking for help. What is Sirisoro doing? I need to find a way to save both of them. Because I remember Sirisoro going over to the lava pool with aquatic. The water then vanished and I saw one of the players take out a crewmate right in front of me. And I left the area as soon as possible. I'm not going to be next. As I was in the middle of running away, I found another body on the other side of the gap room. But then the imposter took me out across the room. That was so strange. How did he even do that? The imposter ended up winning, but I'm finally getting size of Molten and Aquatic. I hope they're okay. I then began to go back in time, and I was back in the lava pool. Why am I here? The ground then began to shake, and Molten came out of the lava pool. So did Sirisoro do nothing to him? And Molten was okay the entire time. But before I could get any hope, a flash of light appeared on my screen, and I was no longer there. I was now inside of the boiler room, and I was playing as aquatic. I could then hear the sounds of flowing water, and a massive wave appeared on my screen with Aquatic. Isn't Aquatic controlled by Sairi Sorrel, or is this just a memory? My game then began to glitch, and Sairi Sorrel appeared and covered my screen, which caused my game to crash. Has he been controlling my mind the entire time? I was now back on the lava pool. And the wave of water appeared right behind me, and it was Aquatic and Sairi Sorrel. They are finally here to take down Molten. Could this be the last time that I see him? But not all hope was lost. The ground began to shake at a rate that I can't even describe. Molten came soaring out of the lava pool. There was debris flying everywhere, and he was glowing. Molten isn't gonna go down without a fight. But neither is Aquatic. Sairi Sorrel then commanded Aquatic to go after Molten. And it was now round 2. Fight! After the smoke was cleared, Aquatic has fallen, and Sairi Soro's plan has failed, but he'll be back. If you would like to see another imposter fight, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.